welcome to another video from Paraplays, and today I'm going to be playing something different. I'm going to be having a look at heroes and generals. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is I actually tried this game probably ooh, two years ago. I think I had one game at the time and thought, you know, it's not for me. Just something didn't quite feel right about this. But I thought, you know, while we're doing other mill sims and shooters on the channel, why not let me jump in and have a look? And probably with all these games, it probably is better if you jump in with some of your friends rather than going in with Joe Public and just getting killed. But anyway, as it's early in the day and I'm at work, but I thought I'd get a little bit of sneaky gameplay in while I'm waiting for a client to get back to me. So anyway, let's jump in. So you can see, para, here I am. And all this interface now is all double dutch to me. I don't know what half of this stuff is. It looks like... I don't know what this is. Is this my name in game? I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like there's gold coins at the top which you earn. I hope this game is not pay to play. Or uh, uh, pay to win, should I say. A lot of these games are like that. I think War Thunder could possibly be classed as pay to win. I'm not sure. I may be wrong on that. I maybe need to have another look and invest a little bit more time in that. What's this thing here? No idea. Let's just, let, I tell you what, let's just hit the combat button and let's get in. Uh, encounters, close quarters. You see, I don't want close quarters. I'm just wondering how this game's going to feel. I've been coming from squad, armor, and project reality now. You kind of get used to that slow, more realistic feel to it. And I honestly cannot remember what this, this play is like. So, what's happening on this screen right now? Is anything happening? Locked while matchmaking. Oh, down at the bottom. Time in the queue. Right, well, if this is going to take forever, I'll cut this out of the actual video once we get in. Quite a long timer. So you had to wait to, to get into this screen, then it was 60 seconds. Right, so here we are. We're above. Uh, what do we do? Click. Very nice. A little bit like the old Battlefield 1. <clears throat> so let's come in on foot. That seems to be a ghost. I presume this is to stop people TKing, is it? So let's get straight in the back of this vehicle. Uh, left control to take cover. That's quite nice. Well, blimey, there's an accident waiting to happen there. Where there's a claim, there's pain. Or is it pain, there's a claim, I'm not sure. Right, so here we are, we're in. And first impressions. Movement feels a little bit strange. Um, yeah, it, look, it looks all right. I mean, the trees look very very flat it kind of i don't know it's got a strange hang on let's just check the controls out control prone yeah there we go right so it's you've got to hold it to aim down the site rather than just click it and hold I prefer a toggle i don't know if there's anything in here for a toggle have we got anything in here oh well, we're definitely going to want to put that up what's this chat i don't want any chat whatsoever one thing that pisses me off about Project realities. People spamming the text. I'm not interested. You've got radio. Use it. God, I'm turning into a right grumpy old man. Yeah, the movement feels really weird. Um, it's hard to describe, really. I, I tell you what, the, it feels like, and the way the graphics look to me, it looks like a browser-based game. Now I don't know if there's any truth in that. Have some of that, lad. Jesus Christ, he's a bad shot. Surely you should have put me down instantly. Oh, let's get a grenade in there. What says everything? The fact that you see the grenade path slightly arcade, but hey, bad stop moaning, it's free. It's free. So let's get in here. Let's be cautious here and just see if there's any Jerry's in here. Sneaky beaky. Anybody here? What the fuck? Right, I took a shot from somewhere there. So if in doubt, let's get a grenade out. Oh, come on, lad. Bloody hell. He should have put me down then instantly. Right, so it looks like the ragdoll physics are a little bit weird. Let's just wait for him to come around that corner. There we go. Got him a bad shot. Uh, now, hang on, hang on, hang on. He took an M1 Grand at, what, six foot to the face? Right, okay, so immediately I'm starting to think this is arcade. Uh, any other game... That would have been a kill. Instant. I mean, it would have gone straight through his chest. It would have blown his head off. I mean, let's be honest. At that range. Is he going to come back out? Might be time to throw another grenade in. Let's just be a little bit sneaky here. Right, okay, so there's uh, some weird physics going on here. He looked like he was on a pogo stick. 
So it's kind of shattered all my dreams, thinking this could be another high quality World War II game. I know a few people have mentioned to me, why don't you try Verdun? But I, I'll be honest, I looked at some of the footage and um, it didn't it didn't sell it to me. It didn't look like the gunplay was very visceral and very engaging. I might be wrong. So if any of you out there have got Verdun, let me know, is it any good? Because it is 19 quid, which is quite a lot of money, really. If it's a game that I'm going to jump in and think, nah, it's not for me. I've got squad and PR at the minute. So, yeah, let me know about Verdun. The, uh, the, the, uh, what was I going to say? The, the audience is out. The debate is out. The court is out. What am I thinking of? I, help me. God, it's a strange day today. It's Friday. Anybody who think it was Monday morning? So the character models, they don't look too bad, actually. Get up close, we can actually see, YouTube will probably mess it up, but it, you can actually see the fibres on his jacket and everything. The the grand textures in my hand are very low res, and I've got this running on maximum settings. It literally will not go any higher. Right, so let's just come around here so we can get a sneaky kill. Right, here we go. That's two, three, four, four, five. Right, so it's five shots with a grand to put somebody down, shot in the chest. I mean, he's going to come around here. Now, are these AI? Well, what's going on? What the fuck? I literally cannot. Right, okay, so it's either something weird or that was a glitch because when I laid down then and I was looking to move the weapon, it moved my head instead of the actual weapon. Is there a button I'm missing? Is that what it is? Right. Let's have one more kill and then we'll have a look, have a look at a little another map or see if we can get into a vehicle. Now there has been an update and they have added vehicles. The strange thing is you have to hold down the left control to be in first person view and then it automatically zooms back out. And right. So transport vehicles seem to explode like they're full of TNT. Why? Why 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 why? Yeah, from looking at the update on Steam, it seems that the uh, there's now tanks and things like that and I had uh, I've had a couple of games before this as well and I didn't see any tanks now whether that is you have to un, un, un sort of unlock and rank up and get to those levels that would just absolutely suck balls if that was true um, but I certainly haven't seen them all I've seen is uh, like this little rally grifter here um, which we'll just jump on so I haven't seen the tanks the tanks may actually you know completely change my mind and think do you know what this game's really good now all I want to do is do vehicles, because when, when I used to play in, like, Battlefield games, I, I did always used to enjoy the APCs, the Amtraks, and the vehicles from a distance. Quite enjoyed it. And on the opposite side, infantry, RPGs, things like that, you know, the saw gunners. Um, ooh, cabbages, farming simulator. So, I'm not sure about this game. I, yeah, it's probably going to be more enjoyable if you've got friends and they've unlocked some of the classes further up and further in. But... At the minute, it's not its not grabbing me enough to think, do you know what, I want to do a load more videos and maybe do some more videos for the channel. Let me know if it gets better. If any of you have got this game and you've put you know, plenty of hours in, does it get better? Do you get better unlocks? Is it uh, pay to win? That's what I would imagine this game is. I don't even know how really how big the community is and whether this is still being played a lot. But... It feels all right for a free game, let's put it that way. So I actually finished that second match and it looks like we've actually got some unlocks. As you can see, there is yellow ones and gold and I'm, I'm, I don't know what the, the brass ones are. I'm going to call them war bonds. And up at the top right, you can see a little bit like War Thunder. You go in and get to spend them, but it looks like you get to spend stuff on everything you like you know the sight unit the trigger unit the barrel and everything else now people who are going to get addicted to this type of game are going to spend a huge amount of money and i was actually looking on steam and people 
I've been spending a lot of money on this, 150 quid, 300 pounds. And there are a lot of mixed reviews when you click on it. I mean, it's just negative after negative after negative. And a lot of people on here are saying that the admins on some of the servers are just banning and, and, and saying that people are hacking when they haven't done anything and not explaining it or just kicking and banning. And I think... It's a good thing if the admins are on the ball and they are getting rid of these people, but if it's, you know, power hungry, then you are actually going to kill your own community. And th this, I'm told, that I'm going back to the Project Reality scene, speaking to some of them, there are three, I'm not going to name them, but there are three servers which are kind of like your top quality servers, and there are other ones which are just full of trash people, screaming and shouting at the beginning and just... Oh, God, I just want to batter them all. And I've been told that the, the admins on those servers, the good ones, can be quite strong and harsh. No no spamming the, the chat or anything like that. And that's brilliant. That's exactly what I want. I hate people spam, spamming up, up there. Can't speak today. I'm not interested who you fucked, whether you got a big dick. I don't want to hear Alo Akbar. I don't want to hear none of that fucking bollocks. Fuck off. Too old for that shit now. I want to get in and play. If you want to do all that crap, go play COD. And on the other side, the other servers, when the admins just let you do whatever you want and just shoot in the main base and just... Oh, God. So it's almost like the, the admins are either super strong or they're not strong enough. But anyway, that's my rant over. So that's been really a quick look at Heroes and Generals. I don't think it's going to grab me personally. It's not really wanting to make me want to go in again. I'm probably going to do next video, probably do some more World War II for uh, Project Reality. But anyway, we shall leave it there. Let me know your thoughts on this game. I've been Paraplays, and this has been Hero and Generals. And I'm going to have a lay down because I can't speak today. Bye-bye.